Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome on this uh, short presentation on the self on the contemporary period. First of all, before we start, I want to thank um, Professor or Sir June Michael Antonet for this opportunity, for this uh, wonderful opportunity uh, that, that has been given to me to present uh, on the topic under understanding the self, which is one of the general uh, educa education courses of the of the CHED of the new of the college curriculum, and um, hopefully I can give justice. You know, I'm quite pressured on this, um, but hey, we will try to uh, we will we will try to begin. Okay, so again, welcome to the self on the contemporary period. Now, as you all know that, um, of course, there are two perspectives that we can see. The first is uh, the Western and the Eastern perspective. But I want to focus on the Western perspective since this is um, I'm more inclined with on the on European studies. So, the self through the ages. What I'm going to present you first is to see the timelines. You know? We start from the ancient, medieval, modern and the contemporary era. And we see how man progresses on understanding himself as an individual, as, 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 as collective, as part of the society and the community, and uh, as part, as a, as a citizen, as a nation. Okay? But uh, we will try to focus here on the contemporary era. period is known the, as meaning-centered, okay? And in the understanding of the self, especially on the philosophical perspective, there are at least two you know, understandings we can get, and that is the self can be a form of an avocado or a form of an art of a artichoke. Now, artichoke doesn't have this core simply because the contemporary philosophers believe that man has completely hold of his destiny. Okay? Man has no fixed essence nor fixed self-project. Man sees himself as an empty canvas that waited to be filled. The self can be recreated and recreate. Life that can be discovered and rediscovered. Of course, we have our uh, preferential roles in the society, but it doesn't mean that we will stick on that. Contemporary period focuses on the person, on his very existence. That is why we start from existence precedes essence. Paano mo maintindihan kung sino ka if you don't start with existence? Kung hindi ka iiral, yun ang pinaka-importante. Unahin natin yung pag-iiral natin. Then, only then, we can know who we are and we can understand of what we are as a person and later on as part of the community and part of this nation. The self is a form of an experience. It's not easy, it's not always um, say we always start with the idea of I am, I live here, I went there, I am this, I am that. But the self, it's not objectified in, in the eyes of a contemporary philosopher. You want to understand who you are, you must be that person that you think that you are. It is a form of an experience. Okay? Ang pagiging ikaw. How can you start being you kung hindi mo naman na naranasan na maging ikaw? Simulat sa pool. You might be 20 years old right now or some of you are on their 40s. But for all those years, you've never been you. 
And nagre-reklamo tayo na, I cannot understand myself. Basically, because you didn't experience of how it is to be you. Because somebody is doing your life. That's the problem there. So, the self, in the eyes of the contemporary philosophers, it is a form of an experience. And how can we understand? Philosophers in the contemporary era offered a new school of thought. And that is phenomenology. Phenomenology was started by Edmund Husserl, whose aim was uh, to arrive at philosophy as a rigorous science. A philosophy that is meant to be presuppositionless, out of bias. We don't put persons inside the box. May lig tayo, mga ganyan. No? Mga Pilipino, may lig tayo niyan. Alam mo yan siya, alam mo yan siya. You know this guy, you know this person. Okay? And we condemn these people because of chismis. But you yourself, did you experience being with that person? If you want to, if you want to know the person, you don't just simply talk to the person or talk to the people that are related to that person. The very best thing to do is to participate on the being of that person. Makialobilo, makilaho sa kanyang buhay. Yeah, that's only for understanding the person. How about you? Did you ever participate in every instances in your life? Baka ibang gumagawa ng buhay mo, hindi ikaw. Okay? In particular, he was reacting against the naturalistic psychology which treats mental activity as causally conditioned by events or nature. We may be product of our times. We may be product of our, of our parents, of their attitudes, our family background, our culture, cultural diversity. But it doesn't hinder you to be you. Our supposition here is that man is a mechanistic animal, that everything can be quantified, that everything can be, that can be grasped, be answered. We, we left the world without such mystery. As if there is no room for mystery. Takot tayo makibahagi sa misteryo ng pagkatao natin at ng ibang tao. We've always been afraid of the unknown. And this has always been what the self is. It takes time, a process. Pero ayaw natin ng ganun eh. Ayaw natin ng process. Gusto na ni instant. Ito yung gustong sabihin ng contemporary philosophers. In the age of technology, of digital age, there will always be a time na magnilay-nilay tayo. There will always be a time to reflect and discern to go deep in ourselves. Because that's the only way. So Euster wanted the philosophy, wanted philosophy to be science of ultimate grounds. Where the presuppositions are so basic and primary that cannot be reduced further. How do we arrive on this? We transcend from our natural attitudes. It's our natural attitudes that lead, uh, leads us to be insensitive. It is our natural attitude that leads us to be careless, apathetic, indifferent on things. That's why we can see the essentials. That's why we can see, that's why we can, we can go deep. Okay? People would say, ah, these are things. Ball pen. Panulad lang naman to. But if we go deep, okay? Ano ba itong klaseng ballpen? Panda lang to ha? This is only panda. 
ball pen. Tatlong piso, limang piso. And then suddenly, nawala mo to. And then you'll tell me, don't worry, sir, I'll just buy you a new one. G-Tech pa. Wow. Okay? Pero yung G-Tech na yung gagamitin, sasampalin pa rin kita. Bakit? It's not the, it's not the G-Tech itself. It's the experience. It's not also the ball pen itself, the panda. Okay? But through that ball pen, ball, natural, natural attitude will tell you it's just a ball pen eh. Panggamit ano? Panulat. But phenomenology, study of experiences will tell you this ball pen give me a sense of experience of how a mother takes care of his child. How a mother sacrifices for the education of his child, of his son. So it's not a ball pen. It's not just a ball pen. The natural attitude, this is a scientific attitude, which was predominant in Husserl's time, and even until now. Some would say that this is still contemporary period. But some philosophers, wait, it's already the age of deconstruction. The scientific attitude observes things express their working in singular judgment. Then by induction and deduction. Kanon ka simple. We're living in a fact world. But there is more on the things that we see. And most of us right now fails to reflect on all these things because we can't transcend it. Because we lose that ability. Kaya nga marami sa atin confused. Hindi yan, hindi yan lang po anong sexuality niya. Hindi niya lang po anong gusto niya sa buhay niya. Hanggang ngayon, hindi pa niya lang po anong gusto ng course niya. Hanggang ngayon, shift ka pa lang ng shift. Pang ilang course mo na yan? Oh, di ba? Meron sa ating guru na, nurse na, doktor na. Pero wala pa rin. Feel nila, wala pa rin kwentang buhay nila. We try to look on something that is permanent. Something deep, something eternal. But we're looking on the other around. Mali yung paghahanap natin eh. It's just like you're looking for a water na dry well. So, ano makukuha mo dun? So, how do we do this? To experience the self. To be yourself. One must be yourself. To experience being yourself, one must be yourself. To experience is to exist. And to exist is to manifest. Because existence comes from the Latin word existere, which means to manifest. You may be like, you may be like breathing right now, talking to me right now. But it ain't you. It's not you. Because it's not you who's really doing your life. Existentialism towards understanding, creating, and recreating the self. Your self might be shattered because of, uh, unex because of uh, painful events or painful things that had happened to you on your past. But again, you have the ability to recreate on that. To renew. To rise up from the ashes. But before doing that, Let's understand first of ourselves through existence. Let me ask you these questions. Are you really living life or are you just breathing? Are you really existing or are you just consuming space? Which is which? You might be sitting on the confines of your dormitory on your boarding houses, or even in your house. You may be happy with your friends, having difficulty, especially right now in these pandemic times. But when you sleep, when you lie on the bed, 
sometimes you have this insomnia during your um, during the dawn questions would rise up telling you or asking yourself ano hanggang ganito na lang talaga ako is this the life that I'm dreaming of is this me am I really doing my life So, tingin niyo. <laughs> Actually, the, the contemporary philosophers will tell you nobody can answer that question not unless you yourself will decide. It's on you. Circumstances can be given at any, at any rate, at any moment. But at the end of the day, it's you. So if you mess up, don't blame others. Gusto yung pahiwating ng, ng contemporary philosophers. Or if you messed up, what's next? I'm telling you right now, what's next? Are you going to cry over spilled milk? Are you going to get up, wipe those tears away, and do something about it? You ask yourself. Are you really living life? The life that you wanted? The life that you envision? Or you are just biologically breathing because deep inside, you may be laughing, you may be smiling with your friends, you may be even, even drinking right now. But deep inside, you're dead. You're just consuming space. How far, how far this will extend depends on how deep man can reach into the recesses of the subjectivity. Doug Hammersold once wrote a diary that said, that says, the longest journey is the journey inwards. Even Buddha would put it in a more, um, you know, concrete way. The greatest enemy is no other than yourself. It's within you. Before we understand other people, we understand our, ourselves first. Nemo dat quid non habet. That's in Latin. I cannot give what I don't have. Here you are, trying to advise other people, but you yourself, you're in deep shit. What makes it a difference? It's just like leading a blind man leading another blind. Before we drag ourselves into another people's lives, we first go and search within of ourselves. Of course, in our journey of understanding ourselves, we need other people because no man is an island. Other people will teach you who you are based on how you participate in your lives and in their being. Of their divergence, there are actually there are plenty of, uh, of existential and phenomenological philosophers well, from atheist to theist. No? They are common, at least they are common features of existentialist philosophies to label them as, as, as existentialists. Number one is the uh, first existentialist emphasize man as an actor in contrast to as an expectator. That is why the self in the contemporary periods is like an artichoke. Layers. Because tayo naghahanap ng kahulugan pa sa buhay natin. We make the best out of our lives. And we can only do it is when we take in charge of ourselves to be an actor. Mahirap kasi sa mismo sarili mong buhay, sa kwento ng buhay mo, hindi ka pa talaga yung main, hindi ka, hindi ka pa talaga yung bida. Extra ka lang. Hmm. Ano makukuha mo dun? Many existentialists use literature like drama, novel, short story to convey this idea. 
Second, existentialists emphasize that man as a subject is, con is contrast to man as object. To understand the self is that you are the subject. You are not just even, you're not, you are more than the pure datum. You are more than, you're not just impersonal, all surface, no depth. Hindi ka pwede lagyan ng basta-basta na label lang ng para sa grocery store. Ilalagay ka sa box. No, it's not. May isang buhay natin na dapat tayo. But doesn't define who that. That one single act that you messed up or the one single time na nadapa ka, that cannot cap encapsulate you as who you are. It can never define who you are. Because you are more than that. You are more than that. Being, you know, as a subject means the original center, the source of initi initiative. Even how, how long are you, how long is your friendship with your friends? With that people, with that person, still, that person can still surprise you. And when we say that man is both subject and object, object doesn't mean that kami tayo, ha? No. Yours, your body is part of yourself. When we say, I brush my teeth, I wash myself. I slap myself. Hindi mo naman sinasabi na sinampal mo yung pisngi ko eh. Sinampal mo ako. Kasi hindi mo lang, hindi mo lang ako sinaktan na physical. You also have hurt. My, you, also dis, you also slapped at my dignity. Of my humanity. As a human person. Man is unique. You are unique. You are irreducible, irreplaceable, unrepeatable. Nag-iisa ka lang dito sa mundo. Kahit ang dami-daming pangalang Sheila, ang dami-daming pangalan na na Marie, John, or Mary, or John, Joseph, yung nag-iisa ka lang. Kaya minsan nakakatawa yung na, kapag nadidinig ko yung may ibang tao. Kailang yan, Tol? There so many fishes in the ocean. Uh, well, not um, contradict on that, of course. Maraming isda dito sa dagat. Kaso, nag-iisa lang yung isda yung, yung naka, nahuli mo na ganoon. You are more than that. You are, as a passenger in the crowded bus, I'm treated like a baggage and you are more than that. Third, existentially stress man's existence Man as situatedness, which takes on a different meaning for each existentialist. So we try to name some philosophers here. For Kierkegaard, when you say situatedness, it's your context as a human person. Lahat tayo may kanya-kanya personal history. Okay? Existence, existence is to be directly related to God in fear and trembling. When you find yourself in front of God, that is according to Kierkegaard. For Heidegger, existence is Dasein. Their being, being thrown into the world. Bakit artichoke yung tingin ng tao, yung tingin ng filosofo sa self, sa contemporary? Because it's an empty, it's, it's, it's an empty slate. Self-project, ikaw gumagawa ng buhay mo. That's why you take charge, that's why you're the actor. There are things in this world, of course, that we didn't choose. Because if there are, for example... Most of you will choose to be Korean or American or German or whatsoever, or even Japanese. But these are things that are been not not being given to us. If we didn't choose. I mean, this was being given to us not freely. I mean, in the context is that you don't choose to be one. You just woke up that you're a Cebuano. Or you just woke up that you're a Chavacano or a Subanen woke up like this. Parang ganun. Okay? So, pwede natin sabihin, parang ta para tayo natapon dito sa mundo na ito. Sa mundong to. Para tayo natapon dito. 
But uh, how do we get away from that? Is to build ourselves, to make the better version of ourselves. Okay? Parati kasi sinasabi natin, ganito na talaga yung buhay namin, ganito na talaga, kontento na ako sa ganito. Talaga? Kontento ka na ba na talagang parang natapon ka dito sa mundo? Para kang basura? Or do you want to get out from that hellhole? And be someone that you dream to be, that you envision to be. At the end of the day, it's, it's, it's on us. It's on us. Jasper, to exist, is not only to determine one's own being horizontally, but also vertically, to realize oneself before God. That God gave you this existence, and God invites you to be more, to be more. For Marcel, is to exist, is to coexist. Ako'y ako nang dahil sa iyo. I can find myself with other people. I can find myself with my parents, with my friends, with my family. In other words, to exist is to participate participate in the life of others. How can we do that? Jean Paul Sartre suggests that to exist is to be free. We are condemned to be free. Whether we like it or not, ladies and gentlemen, we are condemned to be free. That is why to choose not to choose is already choosing. Is there absolute freedom? Yes. There is. Ah, paano yun, sir? With all the rules and regulations, the state requires this and that, my role in the family, how I should do this, how should I act upon it? So, Ask yourself, if we have these laws that prohibit things and that, why do we still have criminals, by the way? If, we, if the world required us to be good, why do we still have people who do shit? Tell me. Absolute freedom. And absolute freedom resides on the word choice. To choose not to choose is already choosing. Sir, I mean, you know, like, you know, the very last thing that a person can do is to blame himself. He would always find himself to blame other people of the mistakes that he did by using of his freedom. Nang dahil sa'yo, nang dahil sa'yo, nagkaganito ako, and niloko mo ko, and all that. Quick question. Sino nagpaloko? Sino nagpagago? Diba? Who allowed it from the first place? Who allowed it by the first place? Yeah, existentialism sometimes can really paint a bleak picture of life. How do we how do we get out from this? Marlo Ponti will tell us that to exist is to give meaning. Even even Camus would tell you that to exist is to live in the absurdity. That life is meaningless. And if life is meaningless. And we try to make the best out of it. That is why we give meaning according to Marlu Ponti. We give meaning. We make things sensible, plausible, logical, meaningful. There is value. It's understanding ourselves our experiences of ourselves helps us to see the value of all these things. Friedrich Jesse will tell you it's life life is what you make it. A life can be a work of art. Yep, the bright color symbolizes your 
fond memories, the good things that had happened into your life, and the bleak, the dark, the dim ones, colors manifest as a form of tragedy, suffering, pain, struggles, painful memories, brokenness. Put it together, you have a work of art. You have a masterpiece. And that is yourself. Even painful realities, you can learn something from it. There are only two kinds of people in this world that you're going to meet in your life. Either they're a lesson or a blessing. A lesson or a blessing. Nakaranas ka ng ganito, nakaranas ng ganito, pero kung wala ka pa rin nakuha doon, tanga ka pa rin, actually, hindi mo yung naranasan. Because you never learn. Nangyari lang yun. Itong pinagkaiba ng karanasan at pangyayari. Masasabi mo lang yung isang bagay na nangyari sa'yo, isang karanasan, karanasan kapag ito'y napagtanto at napagnilayan mo. There is meaning because you learn something from it. You reflected upon it. But if you didn't learn from it, malamang nangyari lang yun. Pwede mong sabihin na nakaranas ka ng pagmamahal. Kung natutunan mo ng magmahal. Pero kung ngayon wala pa, may nangyari lang yun. Wala. Dumaan ko lang doon. Pero it's not really an experience. Experience oneself is to go within. And we need that freedom. At the end of the day, we can talk a lot of uh, many things in this world. Um, you can ask the greatest um, psychiatrists, counselors, spiritual directors, pastors, imam, name it, or even the Pope himself to guide you. But at the end of the day, my friend, it's only you are going to say yes or no to yourself. It's you. Life is what you make it. But it doesn't mean that we will be control freaks. The, the, the contemporary philosopher tells us that to, to, uh, to, to take charge of yourself doesn't mean you take control of every situation. Kasi sometimes we tend to be very perfectionist. Na gusto natin sakto yung anong inisip natin, ganun din mangyayari sa buhay natin. But come on, let's be realistic. Hindi naman ganun nangyayari talaga eh. Sometimes the opposite. So what do we mean by taking control? Hindi bahala na. Akong bahala. In understanding the self is knowing how to respond. To be free, to be authentic as human beings is to be able to respond on the given circumstances that is being presented to you in your life. That is what we, what we, what we mean as freedom. In understanding, in creating and recreating of ourselves. There will be no self if there will be no meaning of that self. It's our attitude. My dear, my dear ladies and gentlemen, it's our attitude. How we approach on the, on the given circumstances of our life. You can mourn. You can cry. Okay? You can cry the all night, all day. You can be even bitter, for goodness sake, if you want. But you have also the choice to get up, stand up, wipe those tears away, and live life to the fullest. And be happy. Happiness is a choice. Suffering is an option. Gusto mo malimpyar no buhay mo, gawin mo. 
Don't blame other people. Pini pinili mo yun. Circumstances has given the circumstances just gave you that struggle, but it's up to you. If you want to cry over spilled milk, then do it. Kustuan mo yun. But if you want to decide to make things life easy, even how difficult it is, to smile against adversities, against difficulties, it's on you. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is what the self is in the contemporary period. And um, last, the, the, the message is to be free. To be free is to transcend oneself in time. You may be the product of your past, but you have, you have the present moment to make a difference so that you can reach the vision that you are envisioning on your future. The new and better version of yourself. And the greatest freedom can a, per, can a person has, or a person can be you know, free, in the full extent of freedom, it's not to be having, it's not having, but it is being in love. It is the fullness of our freedom when we're able to love ourselves, people around us, and God. The God that we believe, or the principles that we believe into, the virtues that we hold on to, love. Kasi kailan man di ka tunay na nagmamahal kung hindi ka malaya. Love calls us to be authentic. Authentic existence is free personal commitment you can commit to a project cause truth value to live authentically is to be responsible you can able to respond to the circumstances that is being given or even bombarded to you by life itself and this is the message of the self this is what self is in the contemporary period. An artichoke. Life is a work of art. Kung gusto mong gawing malimpyerno buhay mo, sisihin mo sarili mo. Bagi mong tao. The first, the contemporary philosophers will tell you, before you're going to pinpoint other people, ask yourself first, ano ba yung nagawa ko sa buhay ko? Nung panay tayo ng reklamo ng reklamo, you know, some people would ask, why there is no change in the society, in politics, in the world, sa Pilipinas? Grabe, no? Grabe kung makapaghingi, kung makapaghingi tayo ng, ng pagbabago. Yung mismo nga sarili natin, hindi natin mabago. Yan lang kalat, yung kalat mo sa, sa, sa kwarto mo. O kalat mo sa buhay mo, hindi mo nga mahal, malinis-linis yan, maayos yan. Hihingi po pa yung malaking perspektibo ng pagbabago. Simula mo sarili mo. That's the call of the self on the contemporary period. Mahirap, di ba? All of us, even me, right now talking to you, is unworthy of these things. Because there are so many things also in my life that I need to check on to. But this is the call. It's up to us to respond. So again, I'm really thankful for the opportunity given to me by uh, Sir John Michael, uh, my bro, kapatid, maraming salamat. And for those who, are, who will be listening on this video presentation, I pray for you. Be well. AMDG.